There he is, there he is. Get him out of there. Uh, don't know if I can well, get him over that log. Get him over that log. Oh, that's Ooh. a nice one, honey. Get him up here. Well, just jump Ooh, again. Just jump like right old over. times. Get him over that log there, boy. Well, I thought maybe he'd just jump right over the way he did. He ain't going to jump over that log. He's standing <laughs> down in there. Get him over that thing, boy. Come on, that's a big old fish right there. Get him over here. Come here, baby. <laughs> Come here. All right. Chris and I are doing something that we used to do all the time. Look how he bent that Strike King spinnerbait. Golly, you had him stuck. I don't mean had him stuck. Look at that fish. We're doing some springtime magnum spinnerbait fishing. Now, they don't come out of the package like that, sports fans. <laughs> that bass bent that spinnerbait up. But we've changed. we got the regular Strike King Houston model magnum, but we got the big willow mag. And we've got a man's auger tail worm, a motor oil auger tail worm. She's used to throwing white. I've got blue and chartreuse. So I might switch to white. We're at fabulous Gibbons Creek Lake near Bryan, Texas. We're staying at Navasota Inn up at Navasota, Texas. This is one of the best big bass lakes in the whole world. We've got a spring day. Water temperature is about 60 degrees. The pH is up real high. And the bass are up in the shallow water. They're up in these woods and... Well, Golly, did you see that? I pitched that thing out there about six foot. I saw you. Right by that big stump. I mean, I punched it out there about six foot. I didn't think, I didn't throw it far enough for nothing. I was coming right through there. <laughs> you just come right through there? I said I was going to. You were going to? Well, you got to make multiple casts. See, that's the deal. <laughs> I hadn't got there yet, I see. I pitched it out there about six foot, and that fish jumped up and grabbed that big old spinnerbait. Boy, he is stuck. I'm going to have to leave oh, this spinner. just a little one that he went, huh? Just a little one, yeah, about five pounds. I might have to leave a spinner bait in his mouth. I don't know if I'm going to... I don't know which way you want to go, but I think we better do something. Wasn't that pretty? Oh, you're using the other switch. <laughs> We're going to blow in the trees. Oh, there's a worm out of there. Right that thing off right behind the egg sack. Look at my hook, how it's been up there. Ain't that terrible? You start bending your hooks up. <laughs> Wasn't that pretty? Did you see that? I sure did. I bet, the, I, bet I didn't make a six foot cast. It's your big pretty thing out of the way. <laughs> I mean, that wasn't a six foot throw. Will you scoot back a little bit? <laughs> 18 foot ranger boat, and both of us standing up here on the last six inches in it. We bought too big a, too big a boat. You're hey, in my way. Hey, you got your line tangled all up in mine. Gentlemen, <laughs> one thing you gotta have when you take your wife fishing is patience. You gotta have a lot of patience. You just gotta keep calm and, and, and smile and be happy with them, and if you do that one more time. <laughs> <laughs> Crying out loud, the fish is eating the blades off our spinner baits, and you're sitting there tangled up. Honey, you need to retie anyway. Cut yours off and redo it. I think you're the one that needs to retie. Probably wouldn't go over too well if I missed <coughs> yours off, though, would it? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Wasn't that amazing the way that fish jumped up and grabbed that thing? Golly, what do you got? Oh, it's just a little in here. Three pounds, two pounds. That's about the smallest fish we caught all day there, Chris. That's mm -hmm. two and a half, isn't he? He jarred you when he got Boy, it. Boy, I mean he jarred me, I guarantee you. That's a pretty bass, though. Look at there. Something been after him. I might have knocked all them scales off coming across them trees there, though, you know what? <laughs> He's up there in about a foot of water. So much of this lake, we can't really get to the bank good. Guy really needs a little old water spider down here. He could get in there. Get in some of that real, real thick stuff. Cause it's thick in a lot of areas, right up against the bank. You don't tell them what might happen up there. Whew. Every time we can get up there real shallow, something happens that we like. Oh, did you see that and hit that, Chris? No, I wasn't looking. Holy cow, we'll show you again on television. <laughs> oh, you can watch this show and see that big boy come up there and get it again. Shallow water, the shallower you can get. Don't be afraid to throw up in six inches of water. Look at there, he got that whole thing down in his mouth. Look at that, way down in there. Big old Strike King Willow Mag, Houston model Willow Mag. What a big bass bait that is. 
I might have to give this one to him. I might not ever be able to get him unhooked. Yeah, I can't get my bait back, honey. I can't. Sounds like a personal problem. Oh, man. <laughs> back in. He want some more of that action, wasn't he? But give me some more of that action. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Got him? Oh, he was way back in there, wasn't he? Sure was. Boy, they are I shallow. If you, can... up if, I can. <laughs> if you can fight it to get back in the real tough, tough, tough stuff, stuff, <laughs> tough stuff, <laughs> you can catch some big fish. You can get way back up in as shallow as you can. Because these old fish are getting up in there shallow. They look, look at my spinner bite. Oh, holy cow. <laughs> they are bending that wire all to pieces. The only thing you gotta be careful of, you bend that wire around like that, you lola. You know, you bend it round, bend it back, or it'll eventually break. Isn't they pretty? 35 pound fish. Beautiful fish. <sighs> Just fight that shallow water. Get <laughs> Look at way that. back up there. Holy cow. <laughs> I don't think it'll run right now, do you? I don't think it'll run right. I think you got it. I don't think it'll run right. I'll straighten it out and try it a little longer. Oh, yeah, just bend it back around the way you like it. That is a strike king. It don't take much to make it run right. Golly, yeah, did you see that? <laughs> Holy smoke. Gee whiz, look at that sucker go. <laughs> right by the boat. That's exactly how much line I had out. Right there. That's a five and a half foot rod. I had out five foot ten inches of line when he hit that thing. I never turned my reel handle the time. Boy, there oh, got you one. got one too. Get back in there. You got him? He climbed a tree. Well, he was up there in about... What do I do now? I don't know. I'm fishing. <laughs> He was up there in about six inches of water, wasn't he? All right, Captain, get up here over there. Huh? Get your fish out of the tree there, honey. Well, I can't bring him over the top of the tree. Get off there, boy. Like that. <laughs> there you go. You got him. Where'd you catch him? Run up there around that lawn? Get him for me. Get him for you. Get him for you. <laughs> what do you think I am, you old man? Yeah, you're supposed to be dipping my fish up. I done rigged your bait up for you and put that big old auger tail you're worm back there. Boy, they like that Magnum Willow leaf, don't they? They go Houston model Magnum Willow leaf. They love that thing. Ooh, mercy. Yeah, aren't they pretty? Mm, That's sure five are. and a half pounds right there. Oh, it's a beautiful fish. Ah, go back there, honey. Go back there and grow up and we'll come back and catch you again. <laughs> Next spring. Or tomorrow. <laughs> Golly. I'm gonna have to retie after climbing those trees here I'm in here. You gotta retie often in this stuff. Well, we're back up in here. We can't hardly move the boat. And it's so much stobs and stuff, but that's where they are. The thicker it is, the bigger the bass. I believe that, don't you? The thicker Seems it is, be. the bigger the fish. I guarantee you. Golly. Golly. Did you see that? <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> I don't know if I got him or not. <laughs> I threw up them three little old bitty sticks, made about a 10 or 15 foot pitch up there. It was on right up there, three little old bitty sticks. <laughs> and he jumped up there and eat that thing. <laughs> Y'all hang loose. We'll be back with more springtime bass action at fabulous Gibbons Creek. Woo! Just hang loose about it. Now my bait won't go under. <laughs> you got to hit the water with it. I'm hitting the water. My bait's got to be in the water. <clears throat> God, you see that one? Ooh, come I'll right come, by I'll there. I'll come along behind you. Golly. wonder how come he didn't get that thing. Boy, he knocked his snot out of him. Mm -hmm. A lot of times they'll come back and get it. This time of the year. It looks like a big old something to eat. A lot of times they'll come back. Well, we probably ought to have a worm on the when we miss I got a jig tied on. Oh, I might shoot. go a jigging worm a little bit. Oh, there he is. Golly. He come up and got mine. And I'm home. I told you he'd come back and get it. Oh, look at him. Isn't he pretty? Four or five pounds. Golly. When you're hung up, that's the way it goes. Back the boat up. Woo!
I'll just bring the tree. You got 20, I got loose. 20 pound trialene on there. We very seldom fish with 20 pound test line, but we got 20 pound trialene XT on there, which is strong, long, strong line. When you're fishing up in this kind of stuff, you're going to get some fish on that I guarantee you is going to hang you up. You're going to get hung up up there in that stuff and because you just can't manhandle them. These fish are too big and strong. And you come across that top of that stuff, one of them things grabs it and runs off out through them woods and starts tearing down trees, you better have some strong line. I mean some serious fishing line on there. Oh, God, he, got he it. missed it and then come back and got it, didn't he? he got it from the underside Woo! the next time. Holy cow, I don't even get a trolling motor. God, isn't he pretty? <laughs> he missed that thing and then come back and got it, didn't he? God, that's a nice fish. <laughs> oh, that was pretty. <laughs> I saw him swirl behind it and then he, and then he just, he just he dove down and come right back up under it, didn't he? Came up from the underside. Isn't that a beautiful fish? Holy cow, that is neat. That's pretty. That is all right. <sighs> that was something right there. You get up here in this real thick stuff, and you can get to the bank. You just fight your way to the bank. You see what it is. This is a jungle. This is a jungle right here, but it's a jungle full of big bass, that's for sure. <laughs> Takes a lot of concentration. Uh, uh oh, oh what's that? Oh, man. God, you, you see that? You weren't concentrating there. Well, I had my line wrapped around a tree right there, and I was trying to get it off the tree, and I was going down through there, and before I could get it off, one got it. <laughs> Holy smoly. I only bite it again. Bite that thing again. I'm ready for you this time. Probably. Oh, come out from under that log, didn't he? <laughs> I mean, he got it the instant hit the water. The blade didn't even turn. Look at that thing go. The blade didn't even turn. Holy mackerel. He was sitting on the bank, wasn't he? I mean, he was. He, that thing, I, I threw it up over that log. About two pounder. And I swear, the blade never even went around. I wonder if there's another one there. He might have got it quick just because there's three or four of them laying in there. There's not. Oh, you already threw in there, huh? <laughs> there he is. There he is. All right. You made eight or ten casts up in that hole, didn't you? Before that fish jumped up there yep. and grabbed that thing. Eight or ten throws. Good that lands. I wonder if there's another one since that one's up in there. Probably so. You just kept casting and kept casting up there. You know, but your bait was kind of foul two or three times coming through there. You got a little piece of grass on it. I've seen him hit with a little piece of grass on it, but that, that never would, would he? Mm -hmm. just Came at a different angle, too. Yeah. It just shows you that old deal of multiple casts to work a lot of times. He wouldn't have come off in a year. You really believe that there's one in there. Well, make several throws at it, and a lot of times, boy, he'll jump up there and grab it. Like that one did. Mm, that was pretty. Sure was. I don't know why he didn't bite mine. Jerry, throw there. back in there again. I threw back in there three times, you know, while you were, after you got through. He might like mine better. You know? God, I, mean, I can't believe that, that fish. <laughs> All them throws, just throw over and over and over, and finally, <laughs> the whole world come to an end on He finally got mad. He finally got mad. Boy, he clobbered it when he got mad enough to, didn't he? I think I'll try it again. Like it so well, you'll try it again. Works well at last time. Oh, I got you got him Look at him. What's a big one, too? God, I'm what are you going to do now? I'm going to fight him up over that stuff. Keep her head up. I get your rod. Old fighting rod in their belly. <laughs> oh, my arm is sore from fighting them things. <sighs> man. man, oh, man, oh, man. <laughs> Big Willa Mag, Big Willa Bass, yeah. I'm gonna tell you what, honey. That's real high class living right there. <laughs> I throw that thing as far as I could throw it back up in that shallow water, and start coming out of there, and that thing bailed on that dude like it was his last meal. But it wasn't. No, it wasn't. He can eat them again the next time I come down through there. <sighs> Mercy <laughs> sakes, alive. There ain't nothing finer than a springtime in Carolina, except in Texas. So I could have been a saint. <laughs> Good thing you can fish a little bit. <laughs> Why didn't ask for that comment? Yeah. Oh, didn't you see that? <laughs> I wasn't looking, honey. Yeah. Hey, that's just a little in there. Two pounds. One of the things you need to do if you're going to throw these big willow mags is uh, 
is use heavier rods. Of course, these are, these are Shimano fighting rods. This is a 1553. It's a heavy action. You don't really want to use a heavy action like a regular Houston model spinnerbait. But this big, uh, this big, big thing, see, it's 5 eighths ounces is how big it is, which is pretty good size. And it's, it's harder to throw with a, if you don't have a good heavy action rod. So get that, get that big heavy fighting stick and get ready for a fight. Because you're going to have it. Did you throw back in there while I just caught that last one? Got one? How much can you do? Come here. I can't get my rod up because of the trees. Oh, it's your rod I'm hitting. Look rod. how pretty that fish is. Boy, isn't he beautiful? Look at him. Oh, goodness sakes alive. Boy, they are some bass, aren't they? Springtime in Alaska, it's 40 below. I don't think it's Alaska. But the springtime in Texas, that's the place to go. <laughs> oh, I've got one. There he is. Well, I don't know. Oh, holy cow, look at him, he's moving that whole tree. Look at that, he's moving the whole tree. Oh, that's a nice fish. Golly, he was moving that entire tree. Did you see that? He had, he had that line around there and the whole tree come out of the lake. Golly. <laughs> Chopping down big trees. Woo. I knew he was going to catch one there. We got, we got in here close to the shore. I just knew it was getting ready to happen. Oh, where's you got one? one? Yep. Oh, golly. Oh, oh holy cow. Well, he got out of one tree and got in another one. Look That's at him good coming fish, out. Oh, yeah, it's a good fish. Getting ready to rain every it's time it does that. Yeah, that's right. Go crazy. That's right. Exactly. It's dark and cloudy. It's getting darker all the time. The darker it gets, the better the fish bite. We may be getting ready to get rained on, but we've had us a killer day out here. We've caught 30 or 40 bass over five pounds. I, I can't remember doing that ever in my life, but this is just a, a fantastic place to do it. I guarantee you. Gibbons Creek, Navasota, Texas. We stand there at the Navasota Inn. It's about 20 miles from the lake, and I guarantee you. There's a ton of big fish in here like that. Look at that. My goodness. <laughs> we can't tape in the rain, so we're going to let Rick the cameraman. He can't catch fish, but he sure has fun throwing up in them trees. <laughs> Speaking of throwing up in the tree, look what I did. Woo! What a day. What a day.